Hey guys, Craig here with American Bass TV. I have another tournament report for you. This event was in our Lake Isabella region. All of the events in that region are on Lake Isabella. This one was held on April 27th. There were two co-sponsors for this event. The first was Jerry's Refrigeration. For all of your heating, ventilating, and air conditioning service, call Jerry's Refrigeration. Jerry's services all of the communities around Lake Isabella. This is top quality service and they use the best parts on the market. Be sure to call Jerry's Refrigeration for all of your HVAC needs. Thanks for the support from Jerry's Refrigeration. The second co-sponsor is Compressor Parts Repair Industries, CPR. CPR is the leading provider in air compressor services. Their factory trained technicians can handle any problem in the field or in-house. The CPR technicians are also on call for 24-hour emergency service. This separates CPR from all the competition. A huge thanks to CPR for the longtime support in the Lake Isabella region. Okay, let's get into it. Right off the bat, we have to do our big fish alert. First place at this tournament went to the team of Randy Maccabee Jr. and Mason Maccabee. They had a five bass limit weighing 31.92 pounds. Huge limit, guys. Take a look at this. In their limit was the big fish of the day, an 8.28 pounder. This is a throwback to the days of old at Lake Isabella. It's exciting to see such a huge limit. For their win, they picked up a total of $1,250 cash along with the great first place plaques. Randy is a member of the Angler's Marine, Tackle Warehouse, Skinny Bear Jigs, Dobbins Rods, Owner Hooks, Gamma Fishing Line, and Osprey Lures teams. Congrats guys on that Magnum Limit, great job. The runner-up position at Isabella went to the team of Clark Small and Randy Maccabee Sr. They brought in a great limit, 20.01 pounds, but on this day, that wasn't even close to enough. Still a great limit. They picked up a total of $520 cash along with the second place plaques. Randy is a member of the Tackle Warehouse, Predator Worms, Skinny Bear Jigs, and Bob's Bait Teams. Great job, guys. Coming in third place, we had the team of John Van Rensselaer and Brett Eggy. They weigh five bass for 18.47 pounds. Another great limit, guys. They picked up $120 in option money for their day. Nice going. The team that took home the fourth place plaques at Isabella was Brett Jordan and Brian Jordan. They weighed in a five bass limit for 15.62 pounds. These guys both have a nice list of sponsors. Brett's a member of the Stealth Sticks, DP77, R53J Communication, and Bob's Compressor Teams. Brian is a member of the R53J Communications, Stealth Sticks, Dogpile Clothes, American Alarm Company LLC, American Tackle, and Microwave Guide Systems Teams. Congrats on that strong fourth place finish. Rounding out the top five, we had the team of Bob Harwood and Greg Figueroa. They had five fish for 15.46 pounds. Bob is a member of the Figueroa Construction and Compressor Parts and Repair Teams. Greg is a member of the Figueroa Construction, Sterling Designs LV, Predator Worms, and Isabella Market and Sporting Goods Teams. Great job on that top five. Here's some more photos from the day. The next event in the Isabella region will be held on May 18th. To get more information, please give Roy King a call. You see his number right there. Roy's doing a great job with this region. Give him a call. He'll get you all set so that you can come out and be a part of that next Lake Isabella event. The lake's fishing great. Come on out. Have a good time. If you still need to get qualified for the 2019 American Bass Ranger Boats Team Classics, this is a great region to look at. There's still four more events, so you can pick up any missing events you have right here in this region. Want to remind everybody to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit that notify icon. That way you'll be notified every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.